all black. One of the most worn outfits by us guys, but also one of the most botched. Yeah, I know. Just from the intro fit alone, you can tell that that fit was not good, and there may be plenty of other reasons why you might be looking awkward in all black. So we're gonna take your black outfits from this to this. Let's get into it. The first reason is the shape and silhouette of your fit. I want you to picture your fit as if it was back. You know, you got a nice sunset in the background, and all that someone could see would be the silhouette of you. And I want you to think about what shape would that outfit form. Now, there's going to be a lot of product analogies because I'm a weirdo and I think about this all the time, but take a look at this kettle that I have versus this boring ass one. Both are at a similar price, both function the exact same, but both have a different shape and design to it. What makes this one stand out is its gooseneck, the handle, while the other just has a very basic handle and a mouth. So now that you understand that, I think the best thing that you can do is go for a more wider fitting pants. And why is this? Because you can change the form of your wider fitting pants. You can go for something a little more tapered. You can embrace the wide fittingness. You can let it lay over the sneaker. Wider fitting pants just allow you to be more creative with the presentation of your fit. Now think of how your tops can change shape. You got oversized shirts, slim fit shirts, hoodies, tank tops for the single layers. And now for the top layers, think of the difference between a bomber jacket, a blazer, and a coat. Good product design comes from a little bit of risk taking versus playing it safe. Just keep that in mind. Just as my new watch did a little risk taking from Sega Design, the sponsor of today's video. Sega Design is a smaller brand, but they design some of the coolest watches I've ever seen. First off, let's start with the packaging. It comes in this minimal book-like box that you won't want to throw away, and I just like to use it as a design element in my place. You know, I like that aspect, repurposing a package as a design element so you don't have to throw it away, waste something. So when taking out the watch, you can tell it was inspired by futuristic cyberpunk motifs, and the craftsmanship is just beautiful. Double skeleton design, you can see the components that make up the watch and how it works. That's always fascinating to see, and I just love the subtle hints of orange. You can tell that's kind of part of my style, kind of what I'm wearing right now. And so that suits me and my style very well, but they also have other color ways as well. Whenever it gets dark, you have these lumen details. You can tell the time at night. I can always appreciate that. It comes with a NATO strap and a silicone one, and they are easily swappable. I wish all watch straps were that easy to swap. And once again, just take a look at that craftsmanship, the precision, the sharp lines. I love it. And a really cool detail is these corners are the hour marks, so you don't have to have the text for each number. Really cool touch. Sapphire glass, waterproof, and my favorite aspect about watches is how it starts a lot of conversation. You know, the first time I wore this, I got a lot of compliments. And when you wear something cool, people just ask about your watch and it just starts a conversation. You can make new friends, you can meet new people. So pick yourself up one of these by clicking that link in the description. I'll leave a link to their site and then an Amazon link if you guys wanna shop by Amazon. This is a great gift to treat yourself or to treat someone else. And especially if you like that cyberpunk futuristic dystopian design, this watch is perfect for you. Thank you, Sega Design, for sponsoring this video. Back to it. Now, the next reason why you might be looking awkward in all black is you have a lack of texture. Going back to product design, this camera body that I'm shooting on, it's all black. But take a look at the textured grip so you can feel where to place your hands. Take a look at this button right here as well. And also think about how the camera body reflects light differently. Had this camera been a matte black aluminum body, no ridges, no grip, no anything, well, it'd be extremely boring and probably unusable. Now, this is what you want for your entire fit. So play with your fabric materials. Leather, fleece, nylon, cotton, whatever you can think of, the different contrasts and textures plays a serious role whenever it comes to all black. Now here's another example, switching from a regular pair of trousers to a pair of pleated ones. There is a dramatic difference. Like this even got me inspired with my plant pots. So take a look at these two. They are the exact same shape, but completely different texture-wise. And why is this? Because the light hits it differently. There's visual protrusions and ridges from the pleated details, and you can get the same with your clothing. Now, these pants right here are iconic, RIP Mr. Miyake, and it's so striking yet so simple that I can wear it with just a black hoodie and still have a pretty solid fit. Now, obviously you don't have to go fully pleated, those cost a lot of money, but just your standard single or double pleated trousers is Chef's kiss. Now, I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper when we go into the fits because I have a lot of different material items that you can keep an eye out for, but we gotta keep it moving. Now, the next reason why is you're going on the deep end and only wearing all black, and therefore you lack a little bit of contrast and color. If every item you wear, no matter what, was purely all black, let's be real, it's not gonna look as good unless it has a really cool shape. And I'm talking every single piece. It's, it's unrealistic. So we're gonna go back to this camera body that I'm shooting on. This has contrast of white so that you can actually read the text 
the record button is red, there's an orange ring surrounding the lens mount, and you would still call this camera body all black, right? Absolutely. Just think about it. A lot of people already don't have black hair like me, so they're already not wearing all black technically. The hair is a part of your fit. Some people are blonde, have brunette hair, brown hair. So instead, my guideline is to just stick with 90% of your outfit being all black, while the rest of your fit can be bits of contrast and color. So white or colored footwear, colored beanies, tossing on a white shirt that pokes out a little bit, wearing a pattern shirt with a little bit of contrast or a, even a graphic top. You guys get what I mean. And also just take a look at these frames right here. The frame of these glasses is all black, but the lenses are tinted a little bit orange. So technically there's a little bit of orange popping on my fit. And that right there is just enough to make your fit stand out a little bit more. But the last reason, and this is definitely going to ruffle some feathers, the all black sneaker is not what's up in my opinion. And just notice how I say sneaker. I'm talking no contrast at all on the sneakers. Black laces, black outsole, these vans versus these vans, this converse versus this converse. You guys get the point. I personally have never really liked these sneakers unless again, it goes back to having a cool shape to it. Kind of like these sweet Coke sandals. Has a cool shape, all black and a nice design. And that's why I like a classic pair of vans. You know, you got the black overall silhouette with a little bit of white from the outsole and the laces. It's still considered a black sneaker colorway, but let's just say you do want all black footwear. Boots are your best friend. They just look better than sneakers in my opinion. Again, it goes back to a cooler shape. Like who's rocking these Jordan ones? Nobody. There's definitely much better ones out there with color, contrast. I don't know. What do y'all think? I'm very curious. And now to the fits, I'm going to explain in detail on why I think these fits work. The first one involves this black crew neck right here. This one is from Rosen X. Do y'all see why this stands out? There's a contrast in fabrics. The nylons with the cotton and the reflective piping surrounding it. It just makes this piece super unique. All right, Johnny filming on another day. The footage got messed up, but we'll be starting with a more spring inspired fit for this one. And we'll be leaning into that utility tech vibe. So we'll be putting on these shorts from the homies over at the Glory Allen channel. These shorts have everything I explained from earlier in this video. It's got texture, it's got metals and a unique shape. And we'll be throwing on some crew socks as well as some Air Max 97s. I've been enjoying these sneakers a lot. For our accessories, we're gonna keep it simple with a cap and jewelry from the brand Lupin. If you guys didn't already know, I've done my own collaboration with them. So go check out the Ascent collection. And I think these two rings really complement that motif. And of course the Sega watch from earlier. And this is definitely a fit for the warmer climates that is coming up. But right now, since it's really cold, how about we swap the bottoms for some Nike ACG cargos? And also the neck gaiter fits it perfectly. I don't even have to wear a neck gaiter over my face and it's going to already add some texture and some depth to the outfit, you know what I'm saying? We can stick to the same Air Maxes and the only thing we'll add is a shell jacket. And for this fit, you can wear the jacket on its own or you can wear it as a sling, just so you're prepared if the weather changes. And this is a perfect fit for city dwellers. So next, let's style a fit using the Issey Miyake pleated trousers. And we're really gonna focus on texture for this one. And we're gonna sway between two different fits depending on the mood. First fit is a casual kicking with your homies type of fit. So check out this Adidas crew neck inspired by soccer goalies or football. If you're not in America, it has this chest pad and elbow pads, which provide a really cool shape and texture. And then we got white sneakers, a beanie, frames. And by the way, Adidas makes some great garments. I know a lot of us tend to gravitate towards Nike, but damn, people are missing out. Now, let's just say I'm going on a casual date with my girl. I'm gonna swap the kicks for some Chelsea boots and toss on this Mandarin collared shirt from Uniqlo and a black coat. This fit is as simple as it gets, but it does so much. It's cozy and has flow, which is something a lot of people don't really think about. The coat and the trousers kind of flow as you walk. This always reminds me of Anakin's dark deed scene when he walks up to the temple, super badass. And then as a Soho type fit, we're gonna keep everything fairly similar, sticking to the same Mandarin colored shirts, but tossing on some wide fit cargos and wearing my Doc Martens Chelsea boots. So very similar fits. We're just adding cargo pants and thickening up the Chelsea boots. And then we'll also swap the coats for a lighter over shirts from Y3. Now I'm gonna show you a quick fit from last year. We got this a cold wall jacket mixed with the Nike Element 55s. Still a good sneaker in my opinion. And a two-tone scarf. Again, not everything has to be pure black. This is functional, looks pretty good, has a lot of texture. And for a more streetwear approach, we're gonna be rolling with full Richie Lee collection, varsity jackets, cargo pants, their slate gray shirt, a trucker hat, and the Union Jordan ones. I don't wear J's as much anymore, but they definitely complement this fit. Shout out to the boys out there in Seattle. And by the way, make sure you get yourself some lint rollers. And for this last outfit, it's very spring s and who said you couldn't wear slim pants i suggested wearing white pants but you can wear slim as well and so we're rocking some flare trousers right here along with some chelsea boots i think it's a classic 
almost 70s type of look. And for our top, we're just gonna add a tank and for a more chic look, we're gonna toss on that blazer. This is the perfect fit for a night out whenever it's a little warmer. And those are some fits for y'all. If you made it this far, make sure you comment that Scott Flow so I know that you're cool and you watched the entire video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly, check out Seagull Watches, deuces.